Okay, for the next few minutes, I want you to imagine that your body is actually a pizza delivery restaurant. I know this sounds ridiculous, but just bear with me for a few minutes. You are the owner, and you decide how many pizzas will be baked each day. Those pizzas make money for your restaurant and keep your restaurant running smoothly. When the pizzas are done baking, you put those pizzas into boxes and the delivery boys pick them up and take them to other areas of town so that those people can eat the pizza, use it for energy, and keep their lives running smoothly too. So that restaurant is actually your body and the pizza that your restaurant bakes is the food that you eat. When those pizzas are being put into boxes, that's the same way that you eat food, digest it, convert it into glucose, and it enters your bloodstream. The delivery boys are the insulin your body makes. They deliver the pizzas just as your body relies on insulin and your bloodstream to carry glucose throughout your body to all of the areas that need to use it for energy. As the owner of that pizza delivery restaurant, you know that you need 10 delivery boys to keep your restaurant running smoothly every day. But now I want you to imagine that none of your delivery boys showed up for work one day. Not a single one of them. But you kept making pizzas because that's how your restaurant stays in business. Without the delivery boys, the pizzas are just sitting in boxes on the counter, piling up. They're starting to smell, they're getting crusty and moldy, the tomato sauce has totally gone sour, and the cheese is turning blue. The people in the town are angry and hungry. They need their pizza, they need their energy. And on top of it, your restaurant is really starting to smell, and you're going to be forced to shut down. This is type 1 diabetes. Without insulin, all of that glucose just sits in your bloodstream. It has nowhere to go and it has no way to be used for energy by all the areas of your body that need it. So what's the solution? Well, you need to hire new delivery boys. As the restaurant owner, you need a whole new crew and you're going to need to train all of them. But to be honest, you know, it, it might not be just 10 this time. You might only need 8 delivery boys, or you might need 20. There might be points in your life where you need 25 delivery boys, or maybe only 12. Throughout your entire career owning this restaurant, it's going to be your job to know how many delivery boys you need to keep your restaurant running smoothly. Throughout your entire life as a person with type 1 diabetes, it's going to be your job to figure out how much insulin you need to keep your body running smoothly. There is going to be a lot of things that cause your body to need more insulin, cause your restaurant to need more delivery boys. Some of those things you have control over, and the way you eat and exercise is one of those things. Balancing your insulin around that change isn't easy. Check out my book, Your Diabetes Science Experiment, for more examples of what causes you to need more or less insulin, more or less delivery boys, and how to go about making those changes in your insulin dosing and your nutrition. And by the way, in order to be a great boss of a pizza delivery restaurant, you don't have to do it perfectly. Your delivery boys will still appreciate you as long as they know you're trying your best. Thank you for watching.